hello hello friends it's Danny here of Danny's dreams and today I'm stopping by for something a little bit different um, if you've been around my channel for a while you know that last November I did a series where I did a tag a day in November I had so much fun with it and I got a lot of good feedback from it so I'm going to do it again this year and I also had so many people that were so interested in the tag dies that I used. And um, I know several people bought some or they put them on their wish list or whatever. But I thought I would do a video sharing all the tag dies that I plan on using. Not to say I won't get more because it's kind of an obsession now. Even though I have more tag dies than I will ever need. But they're just so fun and so cute and so easy. But anyways, I thought I would do a video and get it out early in case you wanted to put these on your wish list or if you wanted to purchase them. And then maybe you could do a tag every couple days or so in November as well or any time, obviously. Um, I had never really done many tags before last year and I do them here and there, but I do love doing them for an entire month of all different things themes and everything just so much fun in the description box below I do have linked my uh, playlist of all the tag videos that I have in case you wanted to watch any of those and then I did link to every one of these tags now there's a lot and many of them I purchased either last year or earlier this year and I did not go through and check the links I know a couple things were on clearance when I did check so I'm not guaranteeing that they'll be there, but then maybe they might have something in the store that you would be similar or something. So I just thought I would run through and share what I have. Like I said, don't feel like you have to buy or anything, but I just know it was such a well-received series and I did have a lot of questions and comments like, where'd you get that one? Where'd you get this one? So I just thought I would put it out there and we'd go from there. So starting with some of my more current ones, this one is the Cat Scrappiness Stitched Scallop Nesting Tags. Aren't those pretty? I love that scallop detail. I love that they're like nesting. Very, very cool. Next up is the Cat Scrappiness Tag Essentials. This one I did just get and this one I did see is in their clearance section. So you might want to check it out. I mean, the possibilities with this one are like so endless. There's so many different ways you can do the edges, um, like scallops or hearts or just stitch tails, zigzag. Lots of different um, ways to put the hole in it. I mean, this set is going to be so much fun to work with. Like I said, I did see that it is in the um, clearance section at Cat Scrappiness. So you might want to check that out if that's something that interests you. And then I haven't had a chance to play with these yet. I'm so excited about these. This is from Scrappy Boy Stamps and it's the Stitched Romantic Tags. I just thought that that was such a fun shape and the fact that they're stitched, I am super excited about those. And this one is also from Scrappy Boy Stamps and this is the Torn Edge Nesting Dies. Look at that fun, fun detail there. Just so different and it got me all excited. And then some of the ones that I had last year that I purchased that I really, really like were from Sunny Studio. This is the mini mat tag one and two. I like that they come with a mat and then the dies and you can interchange them also. And this is the mini mat and tag dies three and four. I love the heart and the flower and the star and like this one's so different yeah and this one it makes it easy to make a shaker tag which I did several of those so that's one of my favorites then this is also from Sunny Studio this is the build a tag one obviously lots and lots of ways you can use that and this is from Sunny Studios this is build a tag two again and these make great um, ways you can interchange in amongst the sets and stuff. So it's really, really cool there. These are also from Sunny Studio. This is the scalloped tags, the circle, and scallop tags, the square. 
They're super fun. And this is not necessarily a tag die, but this is from the Sunny Studios. This is the window quad square, but it had these mini tags in it and it came with lots of options that you could add to them. So I thought that that was a really cool thing. And to get that really smaller size, plus this makes a really cool window for when you're doing a card too. But I just, I really liked that and it had so many different options to create the tags there. Again, this is not a tag die, but it also came with some tags. This is from Sunny Studio and it's the sliding window die. I have not perfected this yet. I've only tried it once though, so we can't be fair about that. But it does make an interactive card. But I got it to do that, but also because it had cool dies in it. Then I have this Catherine Pooler um, Hearts and Tag set. And I just liked that it gave you a banner, but it also had like these hearts you could put with the tag. So I thought that was really neat. This one is the My Favorite Things Tag Builder Blueprints 5. This one is packed full of options you can mix and match. This also makes an easy um, shaker card. Um, just all those hearts, those squiggies, squigglies, the sentiment banners, the flags. I mean, packed full. A really neat set. This is the My Favorite Things Tag Builder Blueprint 6. This also makes really easy shaker cards. And I liked that it was circle. I like this one that it only shows like half there. Also came with those longer tags, um, two or for you and all the little itty bitty things. Another really jam packed set. This is the My Favorite Things Do It All gift tag. This one I love because it makes it so easy to do a tag, but then you can have a gift card on it. I have used this in the past and it was really nice. And I like that these um, like little tags, longer tags, you can put sentiments on and stuff. Really cool one. Then we have the My Favorite Things fold up tags. I have used this too. You use this element like on top of this and it folds up and reveals whatever you want underneath it. Very, very cool. And then this is the Honeybee Stamps Tag Builder. I just liked some of the funky sizes. Again, I did not check to see if this one is still available, but if it is, it is a really neat one. And I found that it had sizes that some of the others didn't necessarily have. And then I have the Not Too Shabby Farm Fresh Tag. Again, I did not check to see if this was in stock. It was super cute, so I would almost be inclined to say it probably isn't, but if it is, grab it up because it's such a unique shape. It's stitched. You can build a little chicken. Um, Jamie has a video on the Not Too Shabby channel that shows how she put it together, which got me hook, line, and sinker. It is adorable. I had to have it, so that's from the Not Too Shabby shop. This is from Gina Marie Designs. This is the arched stitched tags, and I just liked the shape and how they're all like layering. And then I had to get a new Big Shot this year because my other one, the pressure just wasn't there. And I got this really cool bundle on scrapbook.com and it included this set of dies, a set of like banners and a set of like triangles and they're like huge. And I just, I couldn't resist like this huge tag die. Like I can't even get it all on the screen there. Um, and it's 14 pieces. I love how they're layered. It has that really great one. I think that would be fun to make like a really big card sometimes, but lots of different sizes in that one. And then this one is not necessarily a tag die, but I thought that the shapes are so fun. This is the Whimsy Stamps ATC Antique Frames dies. I do use these often for my ATCs, but I thought that would be really cool to just do the shape and then you could just add, you know, you could use one of the other die sets to add like a hole or whatever, but I just thought that would be really fun to use for tags as well. So again, I just thought I'd put this out there since I did have such a good response last year to the tag series in November, planning on doing it again, super excited, just throwing it out there in case you wanted to purchase some of these or put them on your wish, wish list. And, um, 
If you do create with them, I'd love to see what tags you create. You can always tag me on social media. I'm Danny's Dreams across the board. Um, or send me an email. Everything's in the description box below. And I will leave you be. I hope you have a fabulous day. Go do something for yourself and go get crafty. Bye.